Defence ministers of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization are convening in New Delhi for talks. Now, the officials are expected to touch on a string of topics from regional security and counter-terrorism efforts to the ongoing situation in Afghanistan. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, who's chairing the meeting, says he's committed to making the SCO stronger and to promote defence cooperation among member states. The official also held bilateral talks with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Shoigu. Both reiterated their commitment towards strengthening their defence partnership and expressed satisfaction over mutual trust and respect with one another. The SCO is an eight-member political and security bloc that consists of China, India, Pakistan, Russia and four Central Asian countries, including Kazakhstan. Iran and Belarus are also participating in this meeting as observer countries. For more, Neha Punya joins us live. She is in New Delhi. Neha, can we expect any outcomes from this meeting? Well, this has emerged as one of the largest transnational international organizations of later, and experts say this is an attempt to take stock, to refocus the region as well as the world's attention on the problem of Afghanistan and security in the region, especially given how um, most countries have been focused on the war in Ukraine. Uh, we saw Rajnath Singh speaking specifically of the need to crack down on terror saying that this region cannot be peaceful or prosperous if uh, member nations uh, don't tackle terror firmly. Uh, there was also an apparent dig at Pakistan with Rajnath Singh saying that countries that foster and fund terror organizations are committing a crime against humanity and uh, hurting the region's chances at peace. Now, it's important to note that uh, Pakistan's defense minister, though invited, was not part of this meeting. Instead, uh, his ministry was represented by an official from uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister's office. But uh, in other issues that were also discussed at this fora, there was um, talk of helping uh, build a military capacity for member nations, uh, addressing uh, food supply shortages, as well as the joint manufacturing of arms. Neha, Rajnath Singh, India's Defence Minister, also held a bilateral meeting with his Chinese counterpart. Is there anything specifically significant in that Well, this was a tense meeting, given that this was the first time that you had defense ministers from both countries meeting uh, since that border conflict started uh, back in 2020, where 20 Indian and four Chinese soldiers were killed. It was the first time we saw casualties along the shared frontier in more than five decades, uh, for the first time since the uh, Sino-Indian War of 1962. But it was against this backdrop that the two were meeting. Um, the meeting lasted about an hour, and India's reading of that meeting is very different from China's, which also, uh, experts say, explains why the two nuclear-armed neighbors have not been able to resolve this border standoff despite 18 rounds of talks. India told China that uh, uh, any sort of bilateral relationship is contingent on uh, de-escalation and withdrawal of troops at the border also accusing China of eroding the very basis of bilateral ties. Now, as things stand, about 120,000 troops from both sides are still deployed at two points along eastern Ladakh, where that standoff is still pretty much an active one. But China's reading was different. The Chinese defense minister saying that the frontier is more or less stable, also urging India to take a long-term view of the problem, saying that work with us to build mutual trust and that there are more things that we have in common than differences. But uh, given that elections are around next year and Prime Minister Modi is being repeatedly targeted uh, by the opposition for going soft on China. It's unlikely experts say that India will, um, will accept that temporary truce that Beijing is offering New Delhi. Neha, thank you for that update on what's been happening at the SEO meetings. Neha Punya there, live in New Delhi.